Hey, Bjorn Strong here. I'm here back in Revishal for a bit more Disco Elysium where we've got stuff to do. I don't think I need this uh, flashlight right now, though. So let's drop that bad boy back in here. New items, a postcard, this antique gun. Yeah, nothing really all that new. It's pro I think I was blinking because I finally went and read that handwritten note from the fridge. I have some books. I kind of would like to read some of them eventually but what i want to do now is uh head up in this direction we're still looking hoping to find where that gunshot might have come from uh, we haven't found any potential spots just yet uh, i got money which wasn't really what i was hoping for uh there's this building thing up here this barrel has been recently discarded it still smells of fuel oil so fuel oil is an interesting concept. These rusty gears used to turn the whole machine. The building before you housed the engine, it must have been a big one. A big one what? The chain trails off into the ocean, who knows where. So can we get in there? An old door worn by element Worn by elements guards the depot. The wind has blown a sand dune in front of it. The door hasn't been opened in a long while. You see a handle. Um, what is this thing anyway? It's military, a service depot of some sort. Used to service what? The washerwoman mentioned a depot up the coast. Uh, the lieutenant looks... Have I been saying... I've been saying depot, right? Not depot. I, I, my brain is funny sometimes. Anyway, uh, the lieutenant looks the, the hunching concrete toad in front of him. She said it was for moving ammo and cargo across the bay. This might be it. Could this structure have been used to take the shot? From here to the whirling, I can't see how. He looks southeast and blows on his fingers. The church is in the way. All right. We're not going to try to open this thing without upping the chances. We have plus two right there. Uh, our total is just a plus two. I kind of feel like there's something that gives us a little more, but if it's another pair of gloves, it won't really make a difference. Let me just check real quick. Okay. Uh, nothing else. I think the fact that it says impossible basically means... The only way you can do it is by rolling double sixes. That's what's that's and it's a red check. It's my only chance. So I didn't didn't make it. Uh, you rattle the handle a bit, then push on the door with all your weight. Does not budge. Not only is it locked, it's also jammed shut. Huh. The door is shut tight. How can we get in there? Lieutenant shrugs. We don't get in there. What do you mean? We get into like everywhere. Frankly, you're just going to have to accept the fact you can't get in through every single door. Rhetoric says, no, no, we've got into every door thus far. That's what we do. We open doors. We're cops. That's our perk. Even Everard knew that's part of our MO. I'm not going to accept this. The door can be part of the investigation. Relax. No one's hiding in there. If we can't open it, others can't either. And thus they can't get in. He looks at the door with a rueful smile. At least you can think about opening it, about doors in general. They are, after all, fundamental to your life. Perhaps something useful will come from this. All right, let's just check out. We've got another 17 hours for the... Um, oh, I, I forgot I had this minus two physical instrument. That might have been hurting me a bit. But anyway, uh, Wasteland of Reality going on. When I get another skill point, what does this one more door say? God damn it, it cannot be. A disgrace. That door in the coast, you remember the one, right? The one that leads to the abandoned supply depot? Why, in the name of all that's holy, does it not open? Why? There has to be a way to get through that unopenable door. By God, you're the police. All doors are supposed to open before you. What will the others at the precinct think if you can't open a goddamn door? There must be a way. Yeah, I might I might jam that down. Did it tell me how, how long that would be? It's only 45 minutes. So, yeah, once I get us a little bit more in the way of... Um, a little bit more in the way of uh, XP. A little extra rhetoric, a little less empathy. You can grab that. I have so many clothes. I should probably sell them, although... I don't know what the point would be, so maybe... I shouldn't. Cigarette butts cleaned away under a rock. Brand uh, Tio Mot Mo oh, Motiri. You make a mental note. Tio Motiri seems important somehow. 
Okay, mental note made. Someone made a campfire here a long time ago. A rusted, broken control box for the audio relay tower. This ladder is too rusty to climb. The sea air has eaten away at it. This relay tower coordinate coordinates boat traffic in the bay. Barely. There is something here that would indicate a sniper... Oh, sorry, is there something here that would indicate a sniper used this place as a nest for taking the shot? Just some urban detritus, a bottle, and a dilapidated old comms tower. In the distance, you can hear the breakers roar. I don't see it, Lieutenant Double Yefertor. I don't see a person take a shot here and hit something there. He looks east over the coast in the whirling in rags. Uh, maybe the campfire was used by the perpetrator. To warm his hands before the pulling the trigger? Perhaps. But anyone could have made this. The coast is specked with fires this time of year. He looks around. Truthfully, this seems like a very poor choice to take a 1.2 kilometer rifle shot from. Visibility is awful. There's water vapor everywhere. I think we can rule out B double prime, was it? Uh, what about the cigarette butts? Those, he pointed to them. A smoking assailant who favors uh, Tio Motiri to Astra or Druin? Cigarette butts are everywhere. This is a common brand for old men. Still, you felt it was important enough to make a mental note. That meant something. You didn't pay attention to any of the other cigarette butts on the coast. All right. Maybe the assailant climbed the comms tower to shoot there. It's not possible to climb that ladder, and even if it were, why? There's no platform up there to aim from. Lieutenant looks up, raising his collar. I love that Kim's telling me all the reasons I'm wrong. Look over the water to the whirling in rags. There, 1.2 kilometers over the cold water of the bay, blue from the distance and the air, you see the smallest rectangle, barely visible. A glowing light on the third floor of the whirling in rags. With binoculars, you would see a young woman's shape move behind the glass, her limbs long and slender. Finish the thought. Yeah, it's not here, bro. This is not the place the shot was taken from. All right. Ooh, little extra shivers. Tiny inlets there, off in the far distance, where the post trail from. Um... We could go back and talk to that lady about whether or not she can take us out to the island. The one who, like, has a boat. The one who I can maybe ask on a date, but I wouldn't know where to take her. So maybe I can't really ask her on a date. I didn't find... Let me just check. I'm going to check my notebook. Right. It does say check lands in for bullet traces. That has been done. I'm not getting what I have missed here in the boardwalk area to check for traces. Like, where should I be standing? Like, this is the boardwalk, right? Like, I go to the map, and it says... Map? It says... Oh, it doesn't say boardwalk. Okay. For some reason, I thought it did. Well, still, it's boards and you walk on it. Maybe what happened was we were at the right spot to check it out, but we got, like, distracted by the dead body, which, to be fair, can be pretty distracting. Just kind of looking if it's anything going on back here that makes that makes my little yeah it's not gonna work um makes little thoughts pop up on my head oh maybe this it's a long way down to your death from here maybe 20 meters at least let's not die Okay, we've already examined that back. We found the dead dude. So, this is frustrating for me. I don't know where I'm supposed to stand. So, well, I'm going to try just what happens if I'm going to run around over this way a little bit. For possible boardwalk shooting spaces. Okay, so I can't actually get to this part of it, strangely. All right, um, let's let's go talk to the lady who's uh, who has that boat. It's also, I wonder if we can ask the um, camera Joyce. I was trying to remember her name. If she would take us over to the island too, but I'd like to get over to the island 
No. All right, ma'am. The waves are beginning to die down. Look at those little bastards. Simmer down. Simmer down, bastards. That's weirdly poetic. What is it with you and those waves? What is it with waves and fishermen? She tilts her head and looks at the sea. We need to be out there with them, fishing, making a living. So I asked them to accommodate me. Um, but until that happens, uh, I can try to assist you with the best the best I can. She adds the smile. So what will it be, officer? Um, I'm looking for someone else. Oh, who? Looking for a suspect who might have stayed in the neighborhood. Or we've already had this whole conversation. Um, that's my motor carriage in the sea, by the way. Oh, that's the point of direction. It's good to know, I guess. Why is it in the sea? What, what should I say? It's an installation. Very conceptual. I wasn't feeling it. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Lean in. Lean, like, really lean into the sorry cop. An official investigation has been launched by me. I don't think I should just tell her I'm a drunk. That doesn't seem right. I don't know. I don't... Oh, man. I don't know. I think I might, the lieutenant mumbles under his breath. She looks at you and shrugs. It's calls for a funeral, if you ask me. You are suggesting me honor the carcass of my former motor carriage. I feel deserved, don't you think? Falling in the line of duty and all that. What an odd thought. Maybe I should. Why odd? Are things that are part of our life world? They're made with human sweat and they share human history. We should care about them as we care about humans, to some extent at least. Life world? Someone's been reading up on last century Gottwaldian philosophers. Play it cool now. All right, I'm in, but organizing a funeral takes a lot of time and effort, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, she says with a chuckle. You won't even be able to get out of the water before early June. And where are you going to bury it? Who to invite? What music to play at the wake? Take it from someone who's been through a few funerals. It's easiest to leave them there and let nature take care of it. That's all we have time for right now anyway. The lieutenant looks at you sympathetically. Come back here in June and see how you feel about it then. It's not like it's going anywhere. It's a pity we don't get to do more frivolous side activities, like rejuvenate the Doom commercial area, or... The lieutenant looks at you almost gently. Yes, that is a pity. But for now, let's focus on the things we do get to do, like the murder investigation, for example. He liked the, the funeral idea. Um, okay, I got it. Yeah, Kim's presence makes it awkward. Um, wow, so someone's been a little boring? What? Yes, my standard leash. Someone's seen all sorts of wild ideas pop off and thought, I'll take the boring one. The regular, please. The brown. What is this? Picking on me for not being crazy enough? That's the least of my concerns. No need to be defensive. The regularity, the brownness, the cut and dry have their appeal. A very standard appeal. Hey, Kim, am I boring? You? He looks at you. I wouldn't worry about that. See? You're so regular in vinyl brown. He doesn't even want to talk to you about it. Drama, you're lying to me. I like brown. Of course you do. And maybe some black shoes or a pristine white shirt to go with that. It's official. My lord's copo type. It's regular cop. I'll let everyone know. I'll send out a telefax. Wait, what? This will be my copo type now? Yes, the type of cop you are, sire. Think of it as a caste, a class even. A nation of regular law officials that you belong to. It comes, of course, with the usual benefits. Why not? Send out the telefax, then I'm not ashamed. Done and done. No actual communiques will be sent, of course. That would be too dramatic. All right. Um, so, right. Not her. How do I get to that island? You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Um, let's talk more about this boat you're on. Well, technically speaking, I'm not on it right now. She looks at the sloop sway in the waves. Uh, that's not going to help me. Do I have any more questions about reality? No, not really. Ah! How do we get to the island? This is frustrating me. 
Um, I guess one possibility would like now this boat's over here. We were just up there. I wonder if there might be something over here that'll take me there, but I kind of doubt it. Like, I guess I'm down here now. Could I just grab a boat? Like, none of them are lit up in the proper way. This is this is bugging me. It's gonna be causing me irritations. The ice off the coast crackles, shifting. Okay. Oh, look, money. All right, all right. Um, man, I feel like I'm either gonna have to read a book or go sing karaoke at this point. Let's uh, let's try a little karaoke. I think what we need to do is, well, let's interact with it. Let's press play on the tape and listen to it. You press the large button marked Commencer and the tape starts spinning. There's a small delay before the song starts again. Press your ear against the speaker. It sounds like someone's moving in the room, getting comfortable. Then the organ starts playing a simple melancholic tune, echoing in the hallway. A lone singing voice joins in. Telling you about the tiniest church in St. Sands, surrounded by even tinier yard. You almost feel the seaside mist on your skin. It's mega sad. Within seconds, you know, this is the one. The real shit you've been looking for. The one you trash your room to that, to, that Clausier told you about. Perform it. A click, and then silence for a bit, and the tape stops spinning. Could I sing this for karaoke? I think I could sing this. Of course you can sing this. You could take a sad to a whole new level with this, and you already know the lyrics since you've listened to it like a million times. Yep, they're all here. All three verses. And the B-side of the tape contains the instrumental version. It's like the world itself is telling you to do it. Only one obstacle stands in your way. What? Gart. You have to convince Gart while you sing karaoke in the whirling. After you've won him over, you can express yourself. Let the pain out. Make everyone understand. Lieutenant watches you pack up the boon box. He doesn't say a thing. All right. Well, this is a possibility now. As we're sitting here waiting for 2200 and whenever this, this expires on those two quests. So it's this way, isn't it? Why can I not run? All right. Now I can run. All right. Let's get going. All right, Gart, let me sing. I, ga I gave you your new bird, so. Hey, was there something you needed? Yeah, I need to sing karaoke now. No, you don't. It's not happening. This is my way of apologizing for the trouble I've caused. Please let me say I'm sorry. By causing more trouble, I think we're good. Interesting, you're right. It's not the right time yet. Why do you even have the PA system if no one's going to use it? It's for the... He begins const confidently, but then stumbles on his own words. It's for no one. It's a prop. I'm not letting anyone use it after the great karaoke catastrophe of 44. What happened at 44? A lot of people got killed because some asshole wanted to sing karaoke. It's not a prop. It's for your clients. I know it's used. Okay, yes, it's for some clients, he admits reluctantly. I'm a real client. I've paid my bills, and I have the right to use the karaoke machine. Ha, well, he comes up with a counter-argument. We don't have any tapes. They all got stolen. It's all right. I have my own song with me. Give him the tape for the smallest church in St. Sands. The man in the vest and the violet shirt stares the tape he was given him. He begins to frown hard. Fine, fine. Climb on that stage and do your thing. Just get out of my hair. He shakes a tape at you. I'll plug it in for you. Damn his karaoke machine. I'm having it uninstalled, he mumbles to himself. Oh yeah, time to do damage. All right. All right, guys. It's time for the singing. Wait, hold it, hold it. Let's 
come up on stage, grab that thought. This feels right. You belong here. Now, I think I got to be dressed for this. I am not in the right clothes. I got to have the pants, maybe the lounge jacket. I think I'm liking that. Gloves can just come off. I don't need no gloves for this. Um, I don't need to hold anything in my hands for it. What about the hat? What do we think? I think we don't need a hat. We need to go hatless for this. Do we want that tie? I'm not sure. This tie gives me some drama. Let's go drama here. Any shirts give me drama? Yeah, the insane mesh tank top underneath. Nice. All right, this is, oh, the glasses. That gives me logic. This gives me savor fair. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are doing this. Come on, man. Let's sing it up. The stage is all set up for your performance. Feels silent. You can hear the pellets creak under your feet. You feel a little dizzy, a little unsteady suddenly. Oh, shoot. Um, look around the room first. There are some people out there, but mostly a post-meridian slumber has fallen on the premise. Not super lively. It would be wiser to perform in the evening, no, but the choice is yours. I mean, it's six, we could wait a little bit. We could wait just a tiny, tiny little bit. Let's, um, let's do this. First of all, that's empathy. I don't have the right shoes for this. It's a drama that I need. Lots and lots of drama. Although composure and, uh, I don't know. I don't think I have any, I don't have any drama jackets, do I? Cause that would be nice. I don't think so. Yeah, it's minus to drama. So no, no, thank you, sir. And, uh, that's pain threshold. I think my shoes, indirect modes of taxation, composer and saver fare and, uh, empathy, maybe a little empathy for this song. Plus, that looks so good. All right, let's let's wait. Let's just read a book real quick while we're waiting. We have the time for this. Wrong one. So, Medicinal Purposes of the Pale. Let's open the book. The cover of this heavy tome features a number of esoteric symbols. Flipping through the book, you find a number of sections on the general benefits of the pale. A large pharmacopoeia makes up nearly half of the book. What's a pharmacopoeia? You come across the following explanation. While modern, modern pharmacopoeia or copier, are continually updated by so-called experts based on the results of clinical trials, readers will find assembled here the timeless wisdom relied upon by generations of traditional Saolite medicine practitioners, mask mystics, and Ilmarin folk doctors. Uh-huh. The real deal, folks. It's all quackery, in other words. Thanks, encyclopedia. Finally, something to calm the angry spirits that have been plaguing you. I think Inland Empire is insane. It seems to contain descriptions of the medicinal properties of various ingredients that may be gathered from the pale, as well as instructions for producing a variety of herbal remedies. Anything in there about restoring lost memories? There are a number of saolite tonics that promise to improve your short-term memory, but nothing, that's, nothing that speaks to your condition. Um, anything about curing an apocalyptic hangover? There's nothing here that speaks to hangovers directly. However, while browsing through the various descriptions, you become convinced that you could assemble something from the ingredients listed here. Want to give it the shot? All right, book, what do you got? First, you need a base ingredient. Ginger root. Next, to combine the base ingredient with an appropriate vehicle. Let's do a tea made from birch bark. Lastly, anything else you'd like to add? A few pomegranate seeds. 
The ginger root will help with the nausea, and the birch bark tea will help you flush with the toxins. The pomegranate seeds, pomegranate seeds are a natural, natural aphrodisiac as a nice bonus. The very thought of this tea causes your muscles to relax and your mind to clear. You're more present and in control than you were a moment ago. Or go. All right, let's try to get back to, back to work. Put the book away. Uh, let's head back. It's now almost eight. So let's um, look around the room first. It's full and buzzing with chatter. No one is paying you any attention, but you still feel your knees turn to noodles. Now a couple's working with you even worse. They're going to hate you. <laughs> Plus one for throwing in some dance moves. Oh my gosh. I'm ready, Gart. Hit play. Oh yeah. The air is thick with anticipation. Someone dims the lights as the music starts. Okay, here we go. I would often go there to the tiny church there. The smallest church in San San. Though it once was larger. How the real may rest there. Down through the mist there. Toward the Seven Sisters. Toward those pale cliffs there. I would often stay there. In their tiny yard. I have been so glad here Looking forward to the past here But now You are all alone None of this matters no, none of this matters at all. That was strangely beautiful. Uh, the ancient reptilian brain singing the song. Is that what I sound like? I have no idea. Was that me or was that the ancient reptilian brain singing along beside me? A lazy applause fills the room. You feel your hands shake as awareness of your body returns to you. I can say thank you, ancient... Well, actually, yeah, this isn't actually out loud. I just say, thank you, ancient reptilian brain. There is silence now in the deep where the voice came from. It has receded to return only in dreams and nightmares. That This guy really carried you. Yes, he did. Um, who do I want to dedicate it to? I could dedicate it to Kim... Like, I don't get it to Gart. Like, whatever. I could dedicate it to the pale nothing that will devour the world. Or I don't want to dedicate this song to anyone. I performed it for myself. I think that's right. I did this for me. The microphone amplifies your voice in an uncomfortable manner. Someone coughs. Most people have gone back to talking now. Good, good. The cafeteria manager intervenes to cut the moment short. Are we ready? I want to unplug the microphone now. Last words. Say nothing. Leave eg enigmatically. There it is. There it is. 
and um, it is past 20 o'clock. Oh, it's 22 o'clock when we can do that. Um, oh my gosh. Let's see. I'm supposed to keep searching the coast, I guess. I could go back and check up on Suna's project now. I think it's not too late for that. Can I tell him thank oh, you? The smallest church in San Sian, right? The cafeteria manager is waiting for you to acknowledge that he recognized the song. Um, I told you I'd rock that shit. <laughs> it was all right. He doesn't sound like he thinks you rocked it. Subdued. I might start letting people up there again. Now, what can I do for you? Goodbye. I just wanted to... Uh... Oh, yeah. There's... Um... I could put a point in composure to try to figure out why I've got a crush on him, but I think I'm going to let that pass for now. All right, let's head back to... Oh, wait, hold on a second. I said I was going to do it. Um, I'm going to open one more of these. And I don't really... I don't have a regular law official. I want to do one more door. I can internalize... Yeah, multiple at the same time. So that's good. Uh, 45 minutes. It's still tons of hours for that one. And now, yeah, let's head back to the church and see how they're all getting on over there. Hold on, what's going on here? Oh, just new skill point. All right. Let's hop on in. All right. Looks like we got the club. Buddy, what do you think? Yeah, it's all set up, man. Can you already imagine a thousand people in here? Ten thousand. He waves his hand in an unbelievably lame, non-core, hardcore manner. And no, I can't imagine ten thousand people in here because of this thing called geometry. Ecstatic vibrations, totally transcendent. And I've finished setting up the new compressor too. He looked at the imposing black box in the corner. It's churning out the sound. Now the only thing left to do is the name of the club. Will you do the honors, detective? Hmm. What do you propose, uh, Andre? The name? He appears to mull it over in one hand. Ali touches there. Everything I managed to come up with sounds just wrong. Andre's overthinking it, says the girl with the microphone. Yes, you should do it, detective. The speed freak with yellow beads... Uh, oh, sorry. The speed freak with yellow beads around his neck is looking at you. It'd be good for the signs. No, he's right. You've always so much. It's the right thing to do. Asala, what would you suggest? How about something simple, like the club? Too modern. Andre shakes his head, spiky head. And too ironic. We don't want ironic, we want it real. Real and true and beautiful, like a morning after the rave. We should call it the smallest church in St. Saint's, obviously. Egghead, you must have a lot of ideas. Yako ta uh What is that? Yeko kata? Yako kata! The freak with the large head yells from the stage, waving his hand in the air. Yako kata, the place to be! Yekokata, the zone of ecological catastrophe? That's too morbid, eh? Got anything else? Hardcore! A witless, victorious smile adorns his face. Hardcore to the mega! That's him. No, it's gotta be bigger than hardcore. Andre looks worried to come to this realization. Yes, that's to be even bigger than hardcore to the mega. That has to be bigger than the scene. Noid, your two cents. I forget his voice, too. The Amnesia. Like the... I can't remember the name of the club, Amnesia. Amnesia! It's not Amnesia, guys. Suna, you have an opinion on this? She totally doesn't. Yeah, I don't. Of course she doesn't. Good, we have too many opinions anyway. Kim, how would you name the club? I wouldn't. I wouldn't build a club, but I wouldn't name it either. An underground place with no name? So like something the crab man would say. We're not going with anything the crab man would say. Why not? The crab man has ideas, Asela. Ideas from another level of consciousness. I don't care. I don't like the crab man, and I don't like his ideas. His ideas are spooky. Next, please. I think I have come up with a name. 
You have? A Andre stops touching his hair. Well, what's the name? Disco Elysium. Oh, yeah, it's got to be. Like that DeLorean word for the world, you mean. Elysium. But Disco Elysium? Isn't it wacky? This was kind of gone, isn't it? Forgotten? The past is the future, but the future is dead. No, it's beautiful. Beautiful and brave. We want it to be. And short and memorable. It's settled then. Everyone, welcome to Disco Elysium. A light beam washes over the dance floor, bathing it in violet blue. Andre breaks into a frenzied dance-like motion to celebrate the name. Someone turns up the beat. You should go with the flow. Join in on the experience. Start tapping your foot. Feels good. Feels right. But what is this? What's this thing Andre is doing with his limbs? What are you doing, Andre? I'm dancing. He performs yet another strange pattern of moves, but it doesn't look very cool or modern. Honestly, it looks kind of lame. That softcore gyrating is supposed to be dancing? We should talk about it. We should talk about your so-called dancing. Yes, my man. He jumps up and down with glee, his moves punctuated by this stroboscopic flash of the fl club flights. Talk? What's there to talk about if you can express yourself with moves? All right, no words, just dance. We can really up our composure. Hold on a second. Okay, I lied. We can't up our composure a whole lot, although um, these shoes do help. So let's give it, let's give it a try. Oh, hey man, it's good to see you. Ouch. You close your eyes and dream of the shapes your body should form to bring this strange music into life. For now, such ferocity of motion is beyond you. But just imagine the moves you could pull to this futuristic beat. The time will come, limbic system. The time will come. Puts a grin on your face just to think about it. Even a failed attempt gets a juices flowing and repairs some of the damage done by battles lost. If you up the dose and truly dance, who knows what'll happen? All right, I gotta put more into composure or unlock it somehow. Um, when I come back, I wanna talk to uh, this lady here about what's going on and anything else. I could talk to any of these people. I don't know if that's gonna really help me at this point. I like to find out about this hole in the world, but that I think we'll wait for next time. It's a good time to take a little break. So this has been a music filled experience. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon.